Right, welcome to the short video about motorhome weights and what do they mean. What you need to find is your vehicle identification plate. So look for the one that's been fitted by the vehicle chassis manufacturer, in our case Alco, not the original vehicle plate from Fiat, if there's two. The first number on this plate underneath the VIN number is the maximally, maximum technical permitted laden mass and in our case this is 3850 kilograms. Note that you'll need a C1 license for this and on your license. It used to be called the gross weight and is often known as the maximum authorized mass and this is the maximum weight that the vehicle can weigh and still be legal to drive. It's a legal limit not a target. And if you're over that weight when you're stopped, you could be fined and your insurance may be invalid. Next figure is the gross train weight. And this is a total weight of my motorhome and any trailer plus its load when added together I can tow. If a motorhome was loaded up to its maximum weight of 3,850 kilograms, it has a gross train weight of 5,500 kilograms. The difference between the two gives me 1650 kilograms and that's the maximum weight of a trailer I can legally tow when I'm fully loaded up. If I was to reduce the weight of our motor I could tow a trailer up to the vehicle's maximum towing weight of 2000 kilograms and that's the figure that's in the Swift Technical Handbook. So it's safer to assume that the lower figure of 1650 is really my maximum towing weight. And just for reference, our towed VW up weighs 850 kilograms when unladen. So the towing weight is the gross train weight, 5500 in our case, minus the weight of the motorhome. Either it's MTPLM or the actual weight. And that's up to the maximum towing weight of the vehicle, in our case 2000 kilograms. Maximum load on axle one is the next figure, and that's 1850 kilograms in our case. And that's the maximum load split between the two front wheels. Maximum load on axle two is the next one, and in our case that's 2000 kilograms. And that again is split between the two rear wheels. And if there was a third axle, that would be next to the number three. If you add those two last weights together, you'll notice you come back to the maximum weight, the MTPLM. There's something called unladen weight. Now that's the weight of the motorhome with its fixtures and fittings, but before you add any fluids, any people, gas bottles to the motorhome. And the unladen weight is important because it determines your speed limit. Now I did a video, and the link will be up here, uh, on speed limits. Another term you'll hear is mass in running order, MRO. Now I have to refer to my Swift Owner's Technical Handbook to get the figure for mass in running order, which in our case is 3224 kilograms. Mass in running order is defined in my Swift Technical Handbook as the mass of the unladen weight plus an allowance of 75 kilograms for a driver, yeah all right, plus engine coolants and 90% full fuel and one six kilogram color light gas bottle and an empty fresh water tank. Payload. Payload is the difference between the maximum weight, the MTPLM, and the mass in running order, MRO. So my payload allowance would be the difference between the two. So eight, so three eight five zero less three two two four MRO gives me 626 kilograms payload. So as I add extra items like a tow bar, a passenger, a dog, or two dogs, clothes, food, two TVs, extra battery, awning, the payload is reduced until I potentially exceed my MTPLM. Now I could weigh everything in my motorhome to find out if I've used up my payload allowance, but the simplest thing to do is to take it to a public weigh bridge. Now if you look up here, I've got a video of me taking a motorhome to a public way bridge, so check that out. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. 
Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notifications icon because I'll be doing more motorhome basics videos like this one.